A hexagonal prism base 30 mm side and axis 75 mm long has an edge of the base parallel to HP and inclined at 45 degrees to the VP. Its axis makes an angle of 6 degrees to the HP. Draw the projections. In this problem, it is clearly given that axis makes an angle of 6 degrees with HP. When the axis is making an angle with HP, you have to keep the axis perpendicular to HP. When the axis is perpendicular to HP, you can see the true shape and size of the base in the top view. So we have to start our problem from the top view. Draw the top view as shown here. Then another information is, edge is inclined at 45 degrees to the VP. Edge is inclined to VP. So you have to keep this edge perpendicular to VP. And another information is, edge of the base is parallel to HP. So when the edge of the base is parallel to HP, we will get the front view above the XY line. So now observe this is our reference edge 1 6 that is the bottom base edge. This is some distance away from the XY line. So this edge is parallel. It is not in the HP. So draw the top view. From the top view project the front view. So simple position part is completed that is stage 1 is completed. Next, in this stage 2, you have to represent the axe inclination. So, reconstruct this uh, front view as shown here, keeping this axis inclined 60 degrees to HP. So, this re after reconstructing this, draw the projectors from the front view, draw the locus lines from the top view as shown here. Then, now observe, when you are seeing like this in the front, to get the top view, this top base A, B, C, D, E, F is visible. This bottom base 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is invisible. So join the visible lines with the continuous lines and join the invisible lines with dashed lines. Now observe how to identify the invisible lines. This 1, 6 is totally invisible. So 1, 6 first you draw with dashed line. Next check the connectivity of uh, this 1 and 6 points. 6 is connected to 5. So this will be dashed. 1 is connected to 2. This will be dashed. Next 1 is connected to A. This is also dashed. This 6 is connected to F. This is also dashed. So in this way you can identify the invisible edges very easily and you can draw that with dashed lines. Now in the third stage you have to till this reference edge 1 6 to an angle of 45 degrees with respect to VP. So you can reconstruct this tilting at an angle of 45 degrees. Now I am starting the third stage. In the third stage, I have drawn a 45 degree line. Along this, this 45 degree line, I have reconstructed this. So this reconstruction is done by tilting this in the clockwise direction. So by tilting this in the clockwise direction, now it is something like this. When I am tilting this in the clockwise direction, then automatically you can, it is something like this, inclined. I am tilting clockwise. So I can see the bottom base. Because that bottom base is coming towards, towards me. So I can see that. Top base will come away from me, though I can't see that. Suppose if I tilt that in the opposite direction, that is counterclockwise, then I can see the top base, but I can't see the bottom base. Something in that way you have to imagine which base is visible and which base is invisible. So first uh, draw the projectors from this top view, locus lines from this front view and uh, draw the visible base that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then draw the outer contour as shown here. So as this base is visible, automatically line joining this to this is visible. This to this is visible, this outer is visible. So here this is visible means inside this whatever edges you will get, those will be invisible automatically that you have to draw with dashed. So this, this, this part will be dashed. So something like this you have to identify the visible and invisible edges. So axe inclination, edge inclination we have represented in three stages.